YouTube and welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. I'm your host Lucas and we're back today on another vlog where I'm going to talk to you guys about an exciting new product that I just got my hands on and you've probably heard quite a bit about in the past few days, the Helio Spring Flight Controller. So this is a special flight controller being um, developed by Helio RC, an ordinary who's been helping out on the Border Flight project as well. Uh, this is a special flight controller because it actually has what amounts to basically a motion coprocessor. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this FC, but there's a couple of things I wanted to show you guys here and talk about. Um, first of all, I decided the fate of the buttered race flight board. I actually did install butter on this uh, yesterday. It seems to work no problem at all. It was very easy to flash. So I am going to actually be running that on the brap frame that Gap had sent to me. So thanks again, Gap. I really, really appreciate this frame. I really wanted to test something like this. I have flown maybe one or two uh, top mount drones before, but this one here has a very interesting center of gravity where the battery mounts and all that. I've heard very good things about this frame. So I'm going to be building this up with the race flight board. Uh, I had to buy a Maytech uh, PDB, which I don't really like, but what you can do, you can't do anything about it. It has to run on five volts, so we'll make that happen. And I'm curious to see how that's gonna fly on Butterfly as well. The other one thing I wanted to show you guys is this. I just got a secondhand um, TBS Crossfire module here with the uh, Immortal T. I'm gonna be trying my hand at some longer-ish range. I'm still like not really into the idea of going to patch my quad somewhere like crazy. So I'm mostly just gonna use this as a way to have a, a more secure link and maybe try some different moves or different things that I probably wouldn't try before on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz. So uh, I'll bring this to you guys as well as soon as I have an opportunity to go out and test it. And I'm gonna be putting that on the High Flight 7 inch, which I showed you guys last time and has been flying pretty damn good. I'm gonna hopefully get it set up with Crossfire this weekend so I can take it out and see how far this thing can fly with uh, the gem fan uh, the gem fan props really really like these props actually Another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about and clear some stuff up because there seems to be a little bit of confusion still I just wanted to explain that Butterflight itself is just an open source project It's gonna remain open source and it's only concerned with the uh, flight controller software so uh, Helio RC and ornery are not necessarily part of Butterflight. We're working together and we're cooperating because it's a relationship that makes a lot of sense. We, we jive very well with those guys and they've been helping us out and we're trying to help them out as well. But uh, they're their own company, Helio RC. They're, they're their own guys. Uh, they have their own website and everything else. So uh, when you're dealing with the Helio stuff, you're better off asking them about it because they design the hardware, they know how it works, and they also design the target for it. So. Um, Basically, the Helio RC, as I was talking about earlier, with the motion coprocessor, the way it works essentially is it has an F3, uh, F3 chip that is connected to a gyro and is providing uh, filtering. Like So the hardware is filtering right there. And then it sends that data over to an F4 chip that runs the flight controller software. So it's offloading a lot of that work from the F4, which gives it more time to do other stuff like run the PIDs and, and everything else. And it allows it to run faster as well. So you can very easily pull off 32 kilohertz uh, loops with this board. Uh, however, right now, uh, it seems like it's not necessarily recommended. Uh, it seems like most people are having better results with 3216 or 1616. It seems to be a better uh, better output for the board. It's mostly because the flight controller code actually has not been fully optimized for 32 kilohertz. That's something that we're hoping to address in the future, and that's why we're working very closely with these guys, is to try and optimize 32 kilohertz as much as we can, because it seems like this might be the way to go for the future of the hobby. Um, the board is very, very well built, very, very well labeled. Um, I am not going to do, oh, sorry, there we go. I am not going to do a build video on this board because APOC has already done an excellent job at it and I don't really have time to do that sort of stuff. But uh, the board is, looks great, comes with these nice little purple gummies. It has OSD on it. it, it I believe it can take 6S. Uh, I like that it has the little corner pads, very easy for you to access the motors and all that. So I'm really looking forward to building this and getting out there with Butterfly. Oh, and by the way, these come pre-buttered already from the factory, ready to go. Um, so uh, I don't know, I'm really interested to see how it's gonna be to tune this guy. It's gonna be a very, very interesting, different game maybe. From what I hear, you can just turn off filtering entirely on the flight controller side of things, and uh, you can tune, there's a way to tune the gains on the filter that runs on the F3, so that's something that you can access through CLI as well. So there's still uh, lots of parameters that you can play with, and lots of things that you can do to try to get the best, smoothest quad you can. So this quad here is gonna be built on top of one of my test frame quads, which is basically just a Mia X. So this guy right here. Reason why I'm gonna build it on this is because this is a platform that I've flown a lot. I know how it handles, I know I know it very, very well, and I've tested many components and many different configurations on this frame. So that way I get a very even, um, 
perspective on these different components because I'm always using the same frame and the frame is not really a variable here. And they are all gonna be built the same way and they're gonna turn out to be something pretty much like this. So it's gonna be running the run cam and everything else, my little pod. And these guys here are great because they are light enough, they fly super fast and they're, they're almost indestructible. So I really, really like this platform. I wish they still made these frames. Um, because they're just honestly bulletproof. So it's gonna be on the Mia X. We're gonna be using the uh, Runcam uh, Micro Swift. We have a uh, X, uh, sorry, X, our XSR, which I've really come to like and really trust these uh, these uh, receivers. They, they have great range, great reception. As long as you mount the antennas right, nice and straight, they work great. Uh, smart port and uh, S-Bus, good to go and super easy to wire. To make sure that I'm gonna get the best performance possible out of this flight controller, I made sure that we're gonna be using 32-bit ESCs because uh, my experience so far, and this has come across many quads that I've built, every time I use a 32-bit ESC, it's just that much easier to tune. So it just flies better. I, I don't have any other way to explain it. It, it's a noticeable difference on the sound of the motors, on the sound of the props, and the amount of prop wash, and just how much you can push your tune and still get it flying very, very smooth. So uh, a lot of guys have started to switch over to 32-bit, and they've shown the same. They've felt the same difference. So I'm going to put the 32-bit to the test with the uh, Helio, so they can run the fastest D-shot possible or the fastest multi-shot, and give it the best chances to be like the best. I'm hoping this is going to be one of the best quads that I've ever built. And to ensure quality from top to bottom. We are also going to be using the uh, Brother Hobby R5 uh, Deadpool motors because uh, A, they look super cool, they're light, and uh, they're well constructed, very well balanced motors. I have these on a few rigs and they're really, really good. Uh, they do fairly well on crashes, I've only ever really broken one so far, but uh, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, so guys, I hope to get back to you guys in uh, another week or so with some flight footage of the Helio running on butter and my uh, maybe my uh, guide on how to tune it because I've done that before for beta flight and I definitely want to do that for you guys for butter flight and especially on the new Helio. So I'll hope to be bringing that to you guys in the next few weeks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll catch you guys next time.